the thing we all have to remember before we get behind the wheel is that these deadly accidents have lifelong impacts on everyone involved. Yeah, many, many families, years even after these incidents happen, they are still struggling. Tonight, Morgan Wolf had the chance to catch up with at least one of those families who's trying to be the voice of change. Morgan? Yes, well, it was two years ago that a 13-year-old boy was killed walking to school. And this happened in an area that a lot of our viewers are familiar with, Chopper 5. We're at right now. This is Redwood Road where this happened. His parents told me that they are heartbroken for the other families impacted this week, but also frustrated that more and more parents are joining them in their loss. We have struggled every day for 551 days since he has been gone. It's a hole in your heart that never goes away. A giant piece of me is missing. On October 29th of 2020, their son Grayson Buck was killed. I wasn't expecting that. His mom and dad sent him off to school one morning. Then... He was pounding on the door. I'm never going to get out of my mind. Her 13-year-old son was hit by a car on Redwood Road. the house, and they asked me you know, what was Grayson wearing when he left the house. A moment changed their lives forever. The pain of having to drive that road daily caused the family to move. I just miss him every day. I talk to him every day. I'd be teaching him how to drive in a couple of days, actually. And it's just, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, if speed limits were down, I mean, circumstances were different. If Mike had paid attention, he'd still be here. They live in Eagle Mountain now and relive the pain of losing Grayson every time they hear of a child hit by a car. Road, it's frustrating that there's so many kids out there and no one's paying attention. Sending their love to parents and a message to drivers. I just feel like anywhere that you guys have to be driving wise isn't worth somebody's life. Now the Buck family is working with the Utah Department of Transportation on ways that we can improve our roads and make them safer. They also just want to say to any of the families that were impacted this week or anyone in general that has lost a child in this type of way, you can reach out to them if you are needing some comfort. I'm Morgan Wolf Live in Chopper 5. Back to you. Yeah, Morgan, thank you. That's a tough interview. Hopefully it makes some changes out there for a lot of people. The